welcome back to Open Everyone. Our next guest created a multimedia visual art and community engagement project that explores the manifestation of the human spirit through dreams, fantasy, and imagination. And joining us to tell us more about this project, please welcome photographer Carlos David and filmmaker Carlos Bido. And they're talking about Personae, too, that is. All right, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Carlos. Gracias. Thank you. This is an amazing amazing project that's just taken on a life of its own. Yeah, it's becoming stronger and bigger every every year, right? Every time. So before we talk about mm -hmm. Person A2, which has a lot of uh, other uh, social, political undertones, or it seems to be the theme for today's show, um, <laughs> let's just talk about the style in which you're photographing these individuals. Because it, it, it's, um, it's got, it has a classic feel to it. And while you're relating people to images and or heroes and or individuals or icons that are relatable, there's a, another message just in the style in which you're capturing. Yeah, I wanted to work with, uh, in this version, I wanted to work with a very pop style, but still uh, use remainings of the past break, which is a more classical style. So I'm trying to do the mix between a very kind of Rembrandt lighting, which is uh, a lot of shades and shadows, but also add the color, very strong colors all the time to make it reflective in a way to reflect now this society that we have like such a popping colors everywhere we look, right? And so, Carlos, oh gosh, how do you guys refer to each other? You're like, Tocayo, Tocayo, right? Right, right. So uh, you've been uh, capturing from a video perspective, right? Are you doing behind the scenes? Are you doing like testimonials? Uh, what, what is that, that component to Persona? To Persona, uh, I have three components. Uh, there were moving portraits. So we took uh, these portraits and these characters are so rich that it, it, we really wanted them sort of to come to life a little bit and like breathe. Uh, so that was one component. Uh, another component, because they have so much messages behind them and the people who are portraying these characters, we did short documentaries about why they picked the character they wanted to pick and, and, and a little bit more about them. And then finally, there was an immersive sort of VR component because putting a project together like this takes so much work. So that was more of the behind the scenes where it was a two and a half minute film where you put on goggles or you can look at them on your phone and, and see how a project of the scope comes together. That's brilliant. That's yeah. really brilliant. I, I want to visit that. I wish we had <laughs> yeah. it so that I could yeah. actually experience it. But I do want to also acknowledge that um, your, your subjects were chosen for specific reasons. And um, please, let's share with our audience how you're giving um, light and uh, a voice to these individuals. Yeah, I wanted to choose a diverse uh, group of characters. They're all connected through conflict or trauma in different uh, levels, right? And uh, that's why the reason of the videos, I wanted to go beyond the photograph, because I can make a nice photograph and that's, uh, you know, I, I can do it. That. But the goal is to go beyond just a nice image and get more into talking about these issues that we have right now in society. And, uh, but talk about them through art, through a different perspective, through imagination, through fantasy. Well, let's right? share with our viewers what these issues are that we're referring to, because I know you, you took images and it's not to, uh, you know, bring it into any type of perspective. It's just so that people are aware that you're capturing people with disabilities, you're capturing people with mental uh, issues, mm -hmm. where you're capturing people who have recovered Recovery. from drugs. I mean, and, and transgender. so... Transgender. And transgender. transgender. And yeah. so these are all topics that people um, can either feel polarized yeah. and or um, alone. And the, the, the videos were beautiful because people came, saw the images, and then went to see the videos, and they hear their stories, their personal stories about how it's moving in life with uh, having this uh, issue. And it was very beautiful to see the people that watch the video then come back and see the images completely different from a completely different perspective, right? Because so, now they understand. Right, so you gave light to these individuals, right? And you put mm -hmm. them in this really, like, fabulous like scene of like oh I'm in the spotlight which for some may have been a little unusual or maybe uncomfortable and then you went and you captured it from the perspective of showing the humanity within the relationship of the project right correct correct um, so 
One thing that we did, and, and Carlos was an integral part of it, was we, we had these very intimate interviews. We, we uh, set something that's called an interatron where you're almost talking face to face, but there's a camera behind a mirror. So people felt really comfortable with opening up about themselves, their issues, and they're talking about very sensitive and very personal things. So um, with being able to do that, um, what we got was this sort of very genuine, very intimate narrative of, of who they are, um, what their issues were, and, and we almost gave them a platform. Each uh, uh, character's interview is about two, three, some of them are a little longer, minutes long, and, and they, you really get to know these people in the context of, of the project. That's beautiful. It really is. And, and I look forward to seeing the exhibition. The exhibition is still on display. I, I saw you brought me a book, which is lovely. So are the books for sale as well? And, and um, definitely you must sign it for me. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. So just share what the experience is and how long the display is going to be. Uh, we're going to have the exhibit until the 24th. It's at El Barrio Art Space, PS109. And on the 23rd, we're having a talk back. We're inviting some of the participants on the project that they, so that they can talk about their uh, participation in the project and also their, their issues, their life. And uh, we're going to be, um, Carlos is going to be there, I'm going to be there, and uh, um, maybe another of the creatives. Will people be able to have a virtual reality experience? I can mm. bring it all, yes. You should. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, the beauty of that. It's like, yeah. yeah people it's, really enjoy that the day, yeah. the day of. Uh, some who had never... Uh, Don three uh, VR glasses before I think uh, that was a nice thing to bring to El Barrio. Lovely, very creative. Congratulations to you both. Thank, thank you. you. Right, thank you for bringing thank it here to much. our viewers. And once again, you guys, Persona Two is up on display at a Museo del Barrio Art Space located at 215 East 99th Street. And the gallery gallery hours, excuse me, are from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And for more on Carlos David, you can visit carlosdavid.org. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear about, uh, well, we'll hear all about an upcoming artisan fair and book expo. Don't go anywhere.